Big ass 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now y'all see what's going on here. Check in the light was on for P0304. Uh, the only problem with that is, guys, uh, they already took this car. Where is that? This car right here. Y'all see that? The big old D. Is that Derman? Derman? Well, anyway, uh, Derman parts didn't fix it. All right. Actually, this is a mechanic error. All right. Let me explain something to you guys, especially you young guys. When you got a misfire, um, a problem facing you okay there's more things to a car to an engine that can cause a misfire other than spark plugs and coil okay so if you just oh it just needs spark plugs yeah i know a lot of parts department parts stores would tell you that oh you just need spark plugs and coils well that's what they did and guess what they like still on now let me explain some to you how far i go okay i'm an internal guy if I don't find anything external, what I mean by that is uh, my next step is usually internal via a compression test or a leak down test. But let's test test the rest of the outside stuff to find out if that's the case. In fact, one in particular, guys, if you got an air leak in here, somebody just took this off and do a cooler or something. If you have brake cleaner, you can spray in here. If your idle drop, then, yeah, you know, you got a leak. Now, there's another item that can cause that uh, ignition. No and a fuel injector that's right a fuel injector can cause that and not set a fuel injector code in fact let me show you something here's my cheat wiring connector that i use to test resistance of a fuel injector okay depending on the temperature you should have a resistance of about 12 to 15. all right now i'm out of time on this short video so i'm gonna fire up a long video and run through that test with you guys to explain don't just forget about the injector yes all right that is a crucial element that needs to be in play as it relates to misfire so don't just throw parts at it properly diagnose the car just because there's not a code doesn't mean there's not a problem with said part y'all stay tuned for the full video coming up Alrighty, guys i hope y'all caught that short video now the video oh, the injector in question is still in the floor now y'all know this is a pentastar right remember what i told y'all how to determine where cylinder four is all right whichever cylinder up closest to the front that will be bank one cylinder one bank one all right so obviously all the odd numbers is on bank one the even numbers will be on the other bank all right two four and six so we're dealing with cylinder four in this case it's over here this is bank two all right in this case this is injector two now here's what i want to explain to y'all remember what i said earlier in that short video uh don't discount the injector as being the problem for your misfire just because there's not a code they will not always set a code in fact i'm curious i i know some sharp mechanics out there how does a computer this is the pcm how does this know that the circuitry i've seen injector with code names like circuit open circuit shorted things like that how does a computer know that? Remember guys, there's only two wires going to an injector. One is powered and one is ground. That's the only way you're gonna get this injector to fire off, all right? Yes. Now, the way Chrysler's set up, at least I'm thinking that's the way, uh, one wire is gonna be ASD, which means it's powered all the time. When you turn the ignition on, powered. Let's, let's dub this ASD. The other wire is gonna be uh, ground duty cycle all right that's the one the computer has control over so when this injector is supposed to fire off based off the timing duty cycle ground will likely on off on off on off on off uh not much or quite similar to the way an ignition coil work now if i'm wrong somebody put that in the comment section i'm sure somebody gonna correct it if it's wrong or i'm not fully explaining it right, guys i'm not i'm not perfect okay i'm trying to get this i'm trying to explain where i'm going with this misfire all right just because your secondary ignition parts when i say secondary i'm talking about spark plugs and coil just because they're new you can't and a lot of mechanics have the notion of saying well ain't nothing wrong with it there's no fault code there's no trouble code can't be no no guys that's when you got to put your big boy head on it's all right i'm doing a lot of talking in fact let me take a break right quick when i come back uh we're going to test I'm going to show you a quick test that I do on a particular injector. All right? Hold tight. I'll be right back. All right. We're back. Now, what I'm going to do first to illustrate my point, let me hook my test connector. This is nothing more than an injector harness off a fuel rail harness. Just cut it, and this will fit 
just about every injector on a Chrysler product. So I'm gonna connect that on here. Yeah, I heard that click. Now I got my own meter set up. Now, remember what I told you, an injector, depending on the temperature, you should get between 12 and 15 resistance of ohms. All right, so let me set this up to show you. All right, I have one end hooked up to one end of the injector. Got my own meter set up, let me touch this. There you go. Y'all hear that bell? 11 to 12. We should get between 11 and 15 maybe. Again, it depends on the temperature. Alright, so this is the active injector. Now, what I want to do is, in test, is test injector number 4 on this car to see if this injector the reason for the misfire. Remember, if not, do all your external stuff first before you... Depends on, you know, how easy it is. This is fairly easy because... Bank two is open. If this was bank one, oh my goodness, it'd be a pain. All right, so let me set this up for the actual injector on the car. Hold tight. All right, I got uh, this is my meter. I got the connector off injector four, which is the one in question. Now we're gonna connect this right here. All right, so now I need to connect my meter to both ends of this wire and see what we get should be using out of the gated clips but oh well let's see what the reading we get all right so i got one end connected to there's the other end let's connect this one and i don't even hear the bell guys normally i will hear a beep 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 all right see that what does that tell you Guys, cylinder four injector is wide ass open. Okay, which begs the question again, how does a PCM know? Remember, there's no injector code, but should there have been an injector code? I'm guessing this computer should have flagged that an injector circuit high, no, circuit open maybe code, because this injector is wide ass open. Now, to make sure I'm on to something, I took the connector off injector two. So I'm gonna transfer my connector over to cylinder two and run the same test. All right, it's already hooked up, here we go. Y'all hear that? All right, so that injector is open. Again, a lot of guys going to ask me, <laughs> and I'm going to find an answer. All right. This car should have set an injector cylinder. What is that? Injectors are PO20, and the end, the number is the cylinder, right? So this, in, this car should have set a PO204. Remember, 0304 is a misfire in cylinder 4, so 02 represent injectors. I should, this car should have said a 0204. Now, I, you know what's crazy? I haven't scanned this. It may very well did, but I'm going off verbal information on what they're telling me. Okay, so we'll pretend it didn't just for the video's sake and mechanic that's, you know, need to know this stuff. All right, so here's my point. Here's my whole mission of this video. Go farther, all right? Just because there's no code for something, continue to test that something because it's related to the problem that you have it. In other words, cylinder four. There's a problem in cylinder four, right? There's a lot of things associated to a particular cylinder uh, that's needed to get that cylinder to carry its load. Remember, all these cylinders, is this, is, this is a V6. Every cylinder on here has a responsibility and a certain amount of load to carry. If one of them is off, all bets off, okay? You can put coils made of gold on here it doesn't matter if one of the cylinders off the engine is going to be unbalanced and you're going to feel a rough idle and or a misfire so uh that's all i have man i'm gonna end this video uh i need an injector for this car basically what i'm trying to say so cousin pookie wasted this customer look at this derman derman cousin pookie wasted this guy money on plugs and coils <sighs> now maybe if he just saw a code for injector maybe he would have put an injector on it i don't know but mechanics, you need to think outside of the box just in case there is no codes. Guys, that's all I have. I got to go. Thanks for watching.